What is up everyone? Joe Moonlight Mola here. Uh, back from a yeah, four and a half day vacation. Uh, was really nice. Got to go to uh, Bend, Oregon and uh, Redmond, Oregon. Enjoy a little uh, rest, relaxation, a few adult beverages and uh, some good food. And uh, did have enough time to get some uh, thrift stores on uh, Thursday and uh, one garage sale and then on Friday we hit just uh, nothing but garage sales um, so it was a good time in a very nice uh, area of the state of Oregon and uh, a little deserty flat love the smell of juniper trees um, and uh, the weather was just beautiful in the 80s every day it's wonderful and then drove back into rain from the Mount, uh, Mount Hood so um, <laughs> Uh, so back to back to reality. So uh, I thought I'd show you first uh, I'm gonna have uh, kind of three videos based off of this whole trip um, And wanted to show you my solds while I was gone um, from Thursday uh, What was that Thursday September 12th? And then Friday the 13th Ooh. Uh, Saturday the 14th and Sunday the 15th we had 10 items sold while I was on vacation uh, I did not uh, put my store on vacation mode if anybody is wondering I do not do that anymore that kills your store as far as I'm concerned I just extended my handling time to three days when I left on Wednesday afternoon and uh, or not Wednesday mid midday and uh, then by Friday morning I had put everything back to one day so um, every day I refreshed my store. I just took, you know, 15 minutes to uh, uh, kind of run it, r cycle it through and all my products and uh, made sure I had my uh, uh, my auctions every day that I have ending right now um, relisted the ones that didn't sell. So, um, so that I kept my, I kept my store fresh there. I wasn't adding new products, but uh, I still had sales. Um, not bad for considering, you know, I, I wasn't planning on having that much. So uh, let's get into what we sold and uh, we'll go from there. So let me back up here and I'll kind of give you the full pan view of what's on the table here. Uh, we went through and sold 10 items this weekend and these are in no order other than... Um, we can go through the front ones because they are the lower dollar amount. They are four auctions that ended and somebody made a bid on and paid for. Um, I had one that ended uh, over my, my vacation and uh, they have not paid yet. So um, as soon as they pay, we'll get it shipped out and I'll show you. <laughs> but uh, first up, we have a just simple fleece Winnie the Pooh uh, embroidered on the left chest. If you can see it through the logo there it was really nice disney disney store exclusive uh fleece pink fleece sweatshirt um it didn't sell it took uh over two and a half years to sell so uh kind of disappointing i thought it would go faster than that um but uh it left um i put it on auction just to get rid of it um at a dollar 99 it sold plus shipping and shipping on it was 7.99 so just under 11 bucks. Same price point and uh, for sale for this Liz Claiborne blazer, women's blazer. Um, a nice green and blue, greenish blue check, houndstooth I think it is. I don't know. I'm terrible with this. Um, these were picks that I made when I first started off. This was new with tags, but from I believe Mervyn's, which doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so. At least in our area, um, and uh, it was a you know $160 brand new at one point, and uh, yeah, just wouldn't sell in over two years, two and a half years actually. So uh, we put it on auction. It sold as well, dollar ninety nine plus uh, seven ninety nine ship. Next up is just a suit jacket. Um, I do not remember the size of the suit jacket, but I'll shove it off to the side over here. Um, for you um, Just a gray nothing special 
um, kind of a, a dot dot dimple pattern to it if you can see it through the bag there nothing special poor choice for a pickup but we were able to get rid of it uh, same price dollar 99 799 ship and uh, yeah so we'll get that shipped out and last of the auctions was just this uh, clear the runway a little bit was just this pair of Eddie Bauer jeans 14 shorts if I uh, remember correctly I'll show it off to the side here but uh, they sold for uh, $1.99 as well um, and I had that one at $6.99 ship so it was a dollar if my math is right it, it sold for $9.98 so I'm hoping my math was right on that uh, I think so but $9.98 total so um, yeah all these four Four items that shipped out um, from auctions were all one bid only. But something is better than nothing. I'll get some feedback out of it. I finally get them out of my inventory. I can focus on um, getting new items in there. So um, up next though is a pair of jeans, not your daughter's jeans. Um, and they just had a really cool funky print to them. This was a uh, church uh fill a bag for five bucks deal and i ended up averaging 55 cents a piece on everything i shoved in the bag so i had barely anything into this and it sold for just over 18 bucks show it off to the side here we'll go over numbers on everything as well i'm at the end hopefully you like when i break down the numbers for you um, love to hear your comments about that uh if you'd like to see something or or tell me not to bother with it but I I like knowing the breakdown, so I'm, I'm a numbers and spreadsheet kind of guy, so um, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what you think of uh, when I show you the spreadsheet breakdown of um, solds, costs, profits, all that good stuff. So stick around to the end and you'll see. But uh, we'll get this shipped out. Next up, this is the second of the two pieces of uh, vintage... Uh, Viewmaster stuff uh, that I picked up at a garage sale. Um, I paid five dollars total for the two pieces, so two fifty each. Or I paid five dollars for everything, and I ended up creating two lots. Let me put it that way. Um, this one has a Mickey Mouse Viewmaster or viewer, and uh, the noses have a little damage. The ears had a little damage. I noted that all on the listing. Um, but the viewfinder worked great, um, and it came with, uh, I believe, you'll see in the picture here off to the side, but it came with Scooby-Doo, uh, Pied Piper, um, what was the other ones? I can't remember to tell you the truth, sorry. But you'll see it off to the side here, I'll show you the listing. But it came with, I think, three stories, which each had three discs um, that I lotted up with it and Disney stories uh, so Scooby some Disney stories and then uh, another one that I cannot remember I apologize but you'll see it um, it was a big lot and uh, I sold it for $41 uh, via best offer and I'm very happy because I made over $100 on a five my total between the two items and it only cost me five bucks so you know a good turn next up very happy to have these shoes sell. Um, actually, three of these shoes that I'm going to show you today. I am no, not a paid sponsor or anything silly like that. I don't have a big enough crowd to, watching me to <laughs> do this. But I did have do some testing with um, Cellhound and had them uh, list the shoes for me and get them ready. Um, I did my free free five and then I did uh, I paid for five or excuse me my three free then I paid for five which was ended up being two dollars each listing and then right now I'm working through a 30 um, paid listing that breaks down to a dollar 74 listing but uh, yeah so so far I've listed 14 shoes and I've had these three and one other pair sell um, was it their magic maybe 
um, but it certainly did help me get things listed faster. Um, it is a nice speedy process for a part-timer that is willing to give up a dollar seventy-five or less. Yeah, I mean, if you get more, you know, pay for a bigger service. Um, so, you know, I'm, I don't push people to, towards anything, but for a part-timer that was getting to the point where he was trying to have his somebody help him list um, and paying him for it, uh, I was able to put up a lot more product and sell more product. So it makes sense uh, to little sacrifice of the overall cost to get it listed but I got more up and sold more so you know there's give and take with everything in your business it's just a matter of does it work for your model so just because I you do it doesn't mean you should so enough rant there but uh, sell hound so far is working for me uh, but they uh, they listed these uh, Allen Edmond Park Avenue size 11 D shoes cap toe Oxfords they sold for $89, $89.99, and you'll see the listing off to the side here. So I was very pleased when I saw that come through on my vacation. And then the most recent sold, I would say about a half hour to an hour ago from the time I'm making this video, is a pair of Doc Martin sandals. Um, they ended up selling for 30 shoot. I don't remember, $34.99 I believe, but you'll see it off to the side here. Um, so if I'm a liar, I apologize. But uh, yeah, they did this listing as well, Cell Hound, and uh, did a good job. So they sold uh, really fast. Next up, just a simple, basic pair of Asics running shoes, more of a minimalist type of shoe. Um, I can't not remember the name of the, the shoe, but I'll show it off to the side here. Um, and uh, they sold for, I think it was 30 to 35. You'll see it off to the side though. Apologize, I can't remember off the top of my head on this one. But yeah, so they, they uh, turned out to be a, a nice quick sell. This isn't something I would normally look for, um, but the color is what caught me. So if it catches my eye i have a strong feeling that it's big and bold enough to catch somebody else's eye when they're looking through listings and sometimes that's what you need to have to separate yourself from everyone else that sells asics so hopefully that's the case and uh, hopefully the customer likes their shoes last up you'll see and seeing these in a previous video that I did on a lunch uh, lunch break uh, haul, and uh, just a nice pair of uh, Uggs slipper shoes. They were in really good shape, other than that little scuff mark there on the heel, uh, outside heel. But the bottoms were in excellent shape. Fur was in excellent shape. I'm very pleased with them and. I'd love to tell you what the price was they sold, but I'll show you. So you'll have to see it off to the side because I can't remember off the top of my head. So I want to say it was around 40 so give or take. Um, hopefully I was right, but uh, I'll show it off to the side here for you. So, And that is it. That is all 10 items that sold on my little vacation. And uh, I'll get these boxed up, ready for shipment, figure out what the shipping is going to be, and then we'll go over the numbers. So hold on and... We'll be right with you. Right, stop the press. We have an 11th sale that he finally paid on this uh, polo shirt that went on auction. And uh, it was uh, $6.99 shipping and uh, started off at $1.99. Bidding ended at $6.50. So we sold it for a total of $13.49. And it is just plain royal blue. Uh, extra large Nike Golf uh, Nike Fit Dry, and uh, it sat up for over two years. You know, just because it's Nike doesn't mean it's uh, gonna sell fast. Um, it's a flooded market, and it is a plain blue shirt. Nothing spectacular. Good size golf. I sell lots of, but it just uh, you know 
wrong place, wrong time for two years um, for it. So uh, we blew it out and uh, somebody got a great deal. I got it out of my inventory and I get to move on. All right, so there we are. 11 packages total in the end. Two will be going FedEx Smart Post because that was the cheapest version um, compared to uh, USPS through eBay and um, Pirate Ship. Um, FedEx Smart Post ended up cheapest on the Uggs and on the Park Avenue Allen Edmund shoes. And then the rest all went padded flat rate um, envelope. Uh, flat rate envelope, padded flat rates, and two items were first class. So there's all 11, and uh, we'll go through the numbers next. All right, so here's all the numbers. Um, please feel free to pause the video and, you know, dig in deep and look at uh, all the numbers uh, together um, in detail. I'm just going to run through the totals um, because it's a lot to go through and I don't like making long videos for you guys uh, one thing just a tip I, I like doing these because I can look through them I can see patterns I can see something unique or you know um, one thing I noticed is that everything that is asterisk is um, on these five items are the items that were on auction, which obviously for a reason I'm auctioning them off because I've had them for a long time. But this is the how many days they were live on my store before they sold. Um, so, but in seeing this, look at the ones that do not have asterisk next to them, which were regular sales. Um, six days. 18 days, 28 days, 7 days, 26 days, 14 days. Um, on these items, my sell-through went through extremely fast. And uh, I'm liking seeing that. That, to me, is telling me maybe my picks are getting way better. Um, I'm starting to recognize stuff that is going to sell faster. Um you know, I, I, I'd like to see what your guys' uh, opinions are of this uh, revelation. <laughs> um, leave me a comment. Uh, uh, you know, I'd love to hear from your, your guys' opinion on what you see in the numbers. But uh, anyways, in the total, we had 11 items that sold for $312 and change. Cost of goods for all those 11 items totaled $38.10. Fees for eBay and PayPal together, um, and any listing fees was fifty nine twenty. I'm sorry, fifty nine oh six. And then we have all the shipping charges for those eleven items, totaled seventy five ninety two. And we profited in the end a net total of one thirty nine thirty five. And our average, um, you know, I, I don't take the average too lightly on this one because it, it really doesn't make sense. Because I had five auctions and six regular sales, and you saw the difference between the two. Um, this average, whether it is true, but it means nothing to me. I'm more concerned on the average of the items that were not auctioned, and they all seem to be well, well under an average of 20 to 30 days so um, i'm liking that i like that faster turn um you know that i think that's what we all want in the end even as a part-time reseller like myself um so uh hope you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe um and we'll see you in the next one so look out for two videos coming up shortly, one about uh, vacation garage sailing and one about vacation thrift stores. Um, those will be coming out later this week. Take care.